Good day everyone. Thank you for joining me for today's vlog and I think today's vlog is going to be a mix of both watching a beautiful rainstorm that just happened coming in out over the sea interspersed with the sketching I'm currently working on based on all your lovely votes. In my last vlog I asked uh, and also in the community channel on YouTube I did a poll and asked um, what out of four choices would you like for me to sketch on one of my scanned seaweed prints next. And the mermaid was a resounding win over, over 52% I think at last count of poll. So um, I'm actually secretly kind of excited because I haven't, I used to sketch uh, mermaids all the time and I haven't done them in a while. So it's kind of kismet I think. <laughs> so on today's vlog, um, it'll just be the rough sketching because I haven't had much time since my last vlog and I really do want to keep up with my schedule. So I think today's uh, vlog will mainly be watching the sea with the storm roll in. It really was magical. Luckily I was able to capture it. And then um, interspersed with that somehow through editing, <laughs> I'll put the sketching in and uh, we'll see how it works out. Now I won't have the sketch done by uh, next vlog, but um, hopefully I'll get it done in the coming week. All right, let's get today's rainy day vlog. Well, actually I did get the sketch done, which you shall see later in the video. And uh, for now, I think I'm just going to share a lovely a view of the storm coming in, interspersed with some of my talking as I was watching the storm, and some music. Uh, just it seems like a nice calm way to start the day. And then I will share my sketch in the video. Let's get started. It's the perfect time again for a thunderstorm. I really do like thunderstorms. And I was just in my studio, so I brought my warm tea out. I'm in the main sitting room here, near the terrace watching the clouds move across the sea and the thunder in the distance. I hope I can catch another flash of lightning. starts to creep in, just peeking from behind the curtains as summer is trying to pack away its summer clothes and move on. And autumn is that impatient guest waiting to slip in to the house now and fill it with cool oranges, burnt umbers, chilly weather, bonfires, Wooly jumpers, walks and leaves, and browning sea grasses. I'm glad I can share this little moment of yet another storm here out at sea. Can you see how it's clear in the distance? but heavy and thick there. That's where the rain is rushing down and heading this way. And we've had some lovely, wonderful flashes of lightning. And of course that low rumble of thunder. And there goes a snow egret. There she is, just heading off, probably to watch the storm from her scrub pine roost. I'm not sure how long this storm will last. I see the clouds moving quickly across the top there, so it may be just a quick passing thunder squall, but I'm hoping it stays long enough for me to get a fire set indoors 
so I can sit and watch the fire and look out the big windows here and watch the lightning race across the sea and the clouds roll and the thunder boom and the fire crackle and the waves splash. The sounds of late summer thunderstorms. And the ticking of the clock in the house as well. I love the sound of a clock in a house. But when it's ticking and talking away and the silence of a house and you're the only person about. And then the lightning flashes and the thunder rolls. Where else would one want to be? The rain is really coming now. And Algernon Zico. A true sea worthy bird is waiting it out without a care in the world on the rocks. You can see how the storm has been moving in. The clear patch in the distance I showed you. See how now it's becoming obscured. Like a great artist who's rubbing their thumb to smudge a bit of charcoal and the horizon line of a landscape. And the rain comes heavier. The thunder nearer. and the lightning piercing the gray sky. So as we watch the rainstorm and Listen to the drips and drops of rain through the pergola, hitting the terrace. I thought I would share my sketch. And after asking in the uh, post and in my last vlog what character I should make to put over my latest uh, enlarged scan of seaweed, the highest vote was mermaid. And I have to say, secretly, I was quite excited because I actually have been sort of itching to do some mermaids again. I haven't done them in some time. But here you can see, I'm just basically, as I usually do, making shapes and skeletal framework to decide where to put the, uh, the view and the, the position of her head. And um, lucky, luckily, again, as I'm drawing, Digitally, I have multiple layers, so I can shut layers off and on. I can have one layer with just plenty of scribbles of circles and ovals and a, a layer with lines and crosses t to determine um, shoulders and view, etc. But overall, I was just inspired to uh, do a mermaid. And I like to do mermaids with a hint of antiquity to them. And in fact, the fact that some had chosen Victorian Lady as one of my choices, I thought it would be fun to sort of give her, although maybe not technically Victorian, maybe a bit more Edwardian, um, I thought I would give her a little bit of that feel. And um, as you can just see, I'm building her up. And I actually hadn't planned to um, do the uh, watercolor wash for this study, but um, I just was inspired as I was drawing, and the rain was so lovely. And then the next day, uh, we had a sunny day, so I actually sat outside with my smaller little drawing tablet um, on the steps of the beach and uh, used digital watercolor to add some watercolor in. So 
I just really enjoy doing that. Now this is still technically considered to me um, somewhat of a study, but um, I actually kind of enjoyed her and I'd like your uh, opinion if you think the way I've uh, done her with a watercolor wash and such, um, if you think that she is good in this way as a finished piece. And I um, did take the time to digitally move her onto the enlarged bit of the background that I made from the seaweed we gathered on a a beach comb and the day that I shared with you when I was doing my prints and there's just something magical to me about taking something I've garnered from our beach on one of my daily beach combs taking the time to sit inside roll out the ink place the seaweed and the algae paint on watercolor press down the paper it just all is uh, just all of those acts are the things why I really used to love printmaking. It was very much about the process. But I like when I'm done with that, I can scan in the results. And once it's in the magical world of digital, I can enlarge it or do what I like. And so by enlarging that small piece and uh, using it as the background for this piece, I just found it, uh, I think it works quite well. And I'd like your opinion. And, and because I can affect it digitally, I could actually change the background to maybe a more contrasting color to make her pop more. But I sort of liked how she blended in an almost underwater sea kind of look. So uh, let me know what you think. And then as I was working, I realized that it was becoming October. And I realized October is Inktober, which I've done many times. And Inktober is uh, just a hashtag on social media where uh, we artists are encouraged to do an ink drawing um, every day for the 31 days of Halloween. So I realized I wanted to use this um, sketch which I then inked over and added some ink splashes, which you can see here, for my Inktober. Now, whether or not I will be able to do an Inktober every day for 31 days, I have done it in the past. I'm not sure, but I just thought I would share with you the various iterations of this sketch. So I have her in color with the background. I have her in color without a background. And then I have her sketched in ink with ink splashes, which I really sort of liked for Inktober. So you can see from one little idea and sketch, I can get quite a few inspired pieces. So I hope you enjoyed them, and I'm super thankful for you to vote because I kind of liked your sharing your choice of which character you would like. All right, I think I've chatted long enough. Well, thanks for joining me for today's fun rainy day vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching the storm over the sea. And if you can see just a little peek of the sketch I'm starting to form of our mermaid, and I'm hope hoping you like the direction I may end up going. As I said, the sketch won't be ready for Sunday's vlog, but I'm hoping to get it done by this coming next week. So um, thank you for joining me. And uh, I thank you so much for your suggestions. I think I'm going to be doing that again. I like the idea of the community of me asking you what should be fun to sketch and I'm really wanting to do more printing and more scanning of things found in the garden and the sea so I'm kind of excited about a whole series of artwork now so with you involved so again thank you for joining me today and I will see you on the next vlog and I'll see you in the premieres and the chats and uh, until next time remember stay creative cheers <laughs>